want to talk to you today about a subject that comes up from time to time. It's been in the news a lot. You got rogue or scam movers, fly by night movers, whatever the terminology is. It's movers that give the rest of the moving industry a bad name and some ways that you can uh, spot these kind of uh, folks in the business. Uh, first of all, if they're operating out of a mini storage, an apartment, or worse yet, they give multiple addresses or no address at all, this is a pretty good sign that they may be hard to track down if you do in fact have a problem and fall victim to a poor mover. Uh, financial stability means that you're able to rent or own a place uh, continuously and, and this is a good sign. You want somebody, uh, you don't want them getting rich on you, but you want to make enough money to be around in case there is a problem. The next thing is if they operate uh, with a cell phone as their primary number. We all use cell phones, but uh, if, there, if there's not a, an office phone or, or a uh, permanent number, this is a pretty good sign that you may be dealing with somebody that's kind of uh, in, unstable and uh, may in fact uh, be running from their problems and, and those sort of things. Name changes, legal structure changes, those sort of things, uh, possibly working for many moving companies. person tells you they've worked for ABC Mover and four or five others. You kind of have to ask yourself why. Why are they having to go from place to place and move around so much? Uh, you're looking for somebody uh, that's got a track record, that's doing good work, that's able to uh, uh, be there if you need to. There's some things that you should know. If, if you're dealing with somebody that's financially unstable, then one of the first things they're going to probably do is start dropping their insurance, safety and maintenance stuff on trucks. They're going to maybe start hiring uh, what we'll call not the cream of the crop, possibly people with a criminal background, some things like that. And if you ever do have a major problem from somebody that's unstable, you're not going to be able to uh, collect from them if they do have uh, any insurance at all or if they don't have insurance worse yet that they don't own something where you can get some satisfaction from uh, uh, judgment. So anyway, a lot of these things come up and I, I get calls unfortunately sometimes after a person has had a problem and I have very little that I can do at that point. So look for those signs. A dramatically lower estimate uh, is, a, is a sure sign. When somebody doesn't have a track record or the name recognition to uh, get you uh, business on your books because of your quality, then you kind of revert to really, really low prices. And just remember, remember that the, uh, the old adage, uh, if it seems too good to be true, it probably is. So do your homework, check around, Better Business Bureau, uh, check with your realtor, check with friends. Uh, we all want to get uh, good quality service at the lowest price we can, but sometimes that really low price is just a, uh, an indicator that the uh, person you're dealing with is not a good moving company. So don't hire somebody else's problems. Don't hire somebody that's going to put uh, somebody with a bad or criminal record in your business and look out for those signs. And uh, look to AdmiralMovers.com if you have more questions. Contact me. 334-262-6666. Thanks.